everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and welcome to Imagine Earth. Now, I'd like to thank the developer at Serious Bros and Serious Brothers for sending me a key to share this with you guys. Civilization Strategy Sim Imagine Earth has a final PC release date. After seven years in development, it will finally go into a full version for PC on Steam, Humble, and GOG on the 25th of May, and launch with Massive World Congress update on that day. So. I have access to that already. Um, thank you for them lot for sending me that key, like I've said. So what I thought we'd do, we'd start doing the bit of campaign and see how we kind of go, see what we think about the game. I've never played this. I've not tried this, but I do like my civilization building games. So, you know, I was thinking of an endless game, but I think it'd be best if we did the campaign. Welcome to Imagine Earth LTD. Your job as a space colony manager is building sustainable civilizations. Establish thriving and profitable colonies on a global scale. Okay, well that makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got 2-2 two, two first. There's our profile. Um, we haven't actually done anything, Your so here we go. application test will take place on Tuto, one of the smallest planets in the area and an idyllic paradise. Let's build a magnificent colony with 900,000 inhabitants. If we reach that population, we will be granted the planet. We urgently need its yields to remain competitive. Okay. Welcome aboard. We are approaching Tuto. This little planet already offers good conditions for a stately colony. This small untouched paradise is one of the rare few that has the optimal living conditions and enough resources to build up a colony. Your job is to build cities and their supply networks. The global management interface is designed to make every operation as simple as possible so you can focus on important global matters more easily. Use the mouse wheel or the buttons Q or E to zoom in or out of the globe. Hold the right mouse button and drag the mouse to... If I want to point something out to you, an icon will appear on the planet. Rotate the planet until you find it and activate the message with the left mouse button. Click on a free field in the target area to open the build ring. Select the city center and choose the landing site. Make sure to get as much building land as possible within the radius. Okay, uh, colony name. I think that's fine. We'll just auto choose colony name. After landing, our capsule is expanded into the city center of your new colony. Can you see the borders of your colony? Your buildings and city districts can only be built within this area. Now we need food for our citizens. Okay. Choose one of the fertile fields to build a farm there. Okay, so clean inventory. Waste disposal, of water treatment, so we go local ground pollutions. Okay, that's no good to me. Uh, technology, journal, colony rating, world congress, food. Okay. Put food down. Oh, look, so there's like little drones now that are going to go out and uh, get the food. Nice. Of course, the farm needs energy. Quickly build a power plant to provide energy to your buildings. Okay, so we've only really got coal. Um, okay, so it would do a lot better here. Is that because there's a resource there? The coal power plant has to be built on a coal deposit to operate efficiently. Okay, there we go. That makes sense. When the power plant is finished, we have enough energy for food production to run properly. Without a supply of goods, the quality of life in your cities will remain low. Build a quarry or a wood factory. Okay, let's go for a quarry. Okay, that build quite well there. 50 there. 54. Okay, so we do have things like population, money, energy, goods, okay, uh, rare resources, emissions balance. Okay, that's pretty cool. Global warming, we've got to be careful of that, obviously, and time speed, we're only playing it normal. This is, I suppose, the tutorial into the game, uh, which is good, because I have no idea what we're doing. Look, the first colonists arrive by orbital lift. They oh, will leave your colony the same way if they're not satisfied with the quality of life. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I recommend expanding the city with additional city districts. More living space for your colonists. Did I mention they pay taxes? Oh, okay, nice. Okay, so we can 
go to urban here and we can look at city centers or city districts. So we can make more centers at some point, um, but we want this housing space. Um, public transport, energy efficient construction. How about public transport? Can I do that? Or maybe I'm not allowed to do that, I don't know. Okay, let's put that in. We've only got the one drone that does everything though. I know what you're thinking. Coal cannot be the answer to the energy supply problems of the future. But patent trolls have everything under their control, and small companies like us have to save a lot before they can afford licensing sustainable energy technologies. Although everything has been long researched and made available, what irony. Okay. Good. Now set up another district next to the city center. Okay, the population is rising quite nicely. We have space of 200,000 at the moment. Okay, that's looking good. I suppose they need jobs though. To oh, yeah, I just built that right next to the power plant. Yeah, they're not going to be particularly happy, these people, are they? Didn't really put that into consideration. Maybe we can have cheaper taxes. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Okay, the phone is ringing. It is time to expand the city center. This will expand the borders of your colony and open up additional land for building. Okay, how do I do that? Clicking the right mouse button closes every menu. It closes this menu. So when we expand the city center out, it expands this out. Is that what she said? Let's have a look. You can press F1 to see a lot of hot keys and control hints that will, for example, you can keep shift pressed and reuse the last tool or build the same construct again. Oh, nice. Don't really need that though. Okay. I think it's looking okay-ish. How do I expand the city center out though? Build the city center. Oh, build up the city center to level two. Okay. Two grand. Ah, look at that. So now we have two drones. Look at that. that. That's the way to go. The expansion has been completed. The radius of your colony is increased now. The city center also gained an urban density and offers housing to twice as many colonists. Nice. Okay, so we can have up to 350,000 people at the moment, which is good. Okay, so I say that we're going to probably need some more food and stuff, aren't we? So let's get another farm down and the goods let's get a forestry out here as well that's 38 there 42 here i mean then people might be pretty miserable 37 okay so this is our best place So, can these level up as you well? You can level up city districts as well. Uh -huh. They too will offer more housing. Level up two of three. Leveling up the districts creates room for more habits. Two different types of food or goods are needed for a good quality of life. Require... Okay, so... I thought I did the food and stuff anyways. We now have access to research. Nice. May I introduce Professor Tustin? He heads our research department and acts as your personal tech. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Creepy guy. In the research panel, you can research upgrades for. In this panel, you can research upgrades for your colony buildings, that nice. mostly make them either more efficient or more sustainable. Doing your own research takes time. You also can use research licenses to um you can buy and sell research licenses for money. Okay. 
what shall we do? Material recycle and upgrade the stone quarry cycles. Okay. Uh, level city level two. Okay. Well, how do I use my research points? I have one point. Can I not do anything? Uh, does that mean I can only research one of these? Is that what you're telling me? Okay. Energy efficient construction. Public transport. Okay, let's research public transport. So these can be upgraded themselves. Um, but we need more goods and stuff, I assume. Okay, I've got the two goods in. Um, we can actually, you know, make these a little bit better, can't we? Relocate clean technology needs to be researched okay fair enough okay we've got food we got goods uh, what more do we need right now probably just need to keep expanding out don't we welcome to the technology panel here you can unlock new buildings. These are already copyrighted and patented, so you will need to pay for a license for every new planet you colonize. Okay, so that's fine, but there's nothing new here for us apart from this stuff. Um, <laughs> technology needs to be researched. Okay, so that doesn't really make any sense to me. Anyhow, okay, we've got 250,000 already. Wow, look at that. Okay, she's calling me from somewhere. Can we find her on the planet? Yeah, there she is. The quality of life in your districts is often reduced by local pollution and certain adjacent buildings. I just finished the construction plans for park districts. They improve the quality of life and this increases population growth and thereby your taxing income. okay taxes we like the sound of that so how do i put the park districts in or is it here okay park districts provide space for more inhabitants and has extensive parks that also prove quality of life in nearby districts nice realist okay oh yeah see it has a uh, little oh, free field oh bugger Okay, it's going to have to go here, and then we'll put another housing here. It's not great because we do have a quarry there, but tough, <laughs> I suppose. We have to increase our population to 450,000 to meet our company's growth target. Okay. Thanks to industrial mining, you can open up new construction land by clearing rocks. Some rocks contain valuable minerals such as gold. Your next objective is to mine 200 gold for the company. In order to mine gold, you must build a warehouse. Okay, so we need to build a warehouse. And we'll put the warehouse over here. And we can start getting rid of some of this stuff then, I believe. Hi everyone, this is The Boss. Lima reported the progress you're making in the Tuto colony. I ordered a supply capsule with useful equipment from Planetary Express. Okay. What do I do with this thing? In order to take over the cargo of the supply capsule, claim the field on which it stands. You can claim fields that are directly next to your border and then expand your build radius field by field until you reach the capsule. Any possible to unknown fields adjacent to your territory? There we go. So we can claim land separately as well. Great news. There are new buildings available. The company has also donated us a tech license. These are permits that will allow you to unlock and construct new buildings. Think carefully on how to spend them. Okay, that guy's a little bit creepy. Okay, we do have a warehouse now. So does that mean 
mining. Okay, so we're now going to start mining. Nice. Okay, how do I claim this bloody thing? The equipment items have been added to your inventory. You can find them by choosing the suitcase item. Seed bomb grows here. Optimal forest in any field. This field can be located within or near your colony. City level kit. And uh, then build up your seed districts. Uh, okay. How do I use this? Did I just use it? I think I did. Note that higher level cities demand more variety of supply. They need at least two different types of food and goods to really be satisfied. Okay. We do need this coal power plant to be put down. It doesn't matter where I'm going to put it. I think we should just keep all the coal power over this side. Why are they not happy? Energy missing these two types of food. Okay, so food. Cattle farm. We need a license for that. Okay, technology. Well, we still have another tech license as well. We could do biomass. Machine factory. Or maybe the factory would be better. Okay, how's our research and development going? Optimization, upgrade a coal power plant. Okay, that's now researching, I believe. Okay. I think I think we're doing okay. Who the hell knows? Okay, so we do now have more power. People should be a little bit happier. Okay, so that is something. Um, and we should now have a cattle farm. 3531. Okay, we have a tornado currently ripping through the place. Uh, that is not good, is it? But that is so cool how that works. Watch out, a tornado. Natural disasters like this will harm your colony and its buildings. Natural catastrophes will occur more frequently due to the climate change caused by your greenhouse. Okay, so basically it's blaming us for this. Okay, we now have a cattle farm. So we've got some cows. Um, that'll make people a bit happier. Does that level these up yet? No. Okay, but I do think we now need some more housing space. I think we'll get another one of these. We have come closer to our population goal and have therefore received another landing permit. Nice. We are to found a new city on the other continent on Tuto to gather some of the rare resources there. Okay, so we've been granted some new space. So we've got a city center. Um, try and get as much of this resource as we can. Okay, so this is quite self-sufficient here at the minute. We've got some more space. Food is okay. Goods is not okay, though. Uh, we did unlock this. And where can that go? There we go. Okay, let's go back to this colony then. Wow, a Gaian temple ruin. This species had incredibly advanced terraforming technology with which they could terraform entire planets and their ecosystems. Even though this temple lies in ruins, we can collect and study artifacts here. Okay, mate. What, what do I do? Plunder clean. Plundering the temple will earn you possession treasures like a power bill. Okay, well, oh, I can't do that yet. Needs a warehouse within the colony area. Okay, infrastructure. Let's get this warehouse going. And uh, we may as well get some energy going here as well. 
And uh, let's get some more housing. <laughs> You've discovered nitro pumpkins, a rare plant that will fetch high prices on the galactic market. This plant is capable of producing nitro skirlite in large amounts. This is used to craft fertilizer and explosives. To harvest this plant, you also need a warehouse in the same colony area. Now let's harvest nitro skirlite. Okay. We're going to harvest those, and then we want to plunder this as well. Okay, so they've got plenty to do over there. I, I love the graphics and arts. I love the atmosphere. It's so cool. Okay, why are you not happy? Other than that, I think everything is okay here. Okay, they're harvesting. Is it worth putting a second warehouse, I wonder? Okay, we've got a new tech license now as well. Uh, what can we get? I suppose the only thing that we're missing... Got the warehouse now, so we might as well just take this. Okay, so cattle farm wood plus twenty percent forest uh, burns biomass to produce energy needs near biomass sources. Okay, that's pretty cool. You're harvesting pumpkins. I reckon it's probably in the best interest to put a second warehouse down. Cold store, super battery, or good storage. Is that what it does? All three. Have I not put any population over here yet? Oh. My dear employees, I like to visit in person from time to time to convince myself of the progress of our projects. However, right now I urgently require a shipment of titanium. We need it to terraform the nearby planet Joma to become habitable. We need explosives to be able to blow up mountain massifs and start mining titanium. According to our scans, the mountains of this planet should be full of it. I also brought you a prototype of a new useful construct. The remediation center automatically cleans the soil pollution in the surrounding area. With an upgrade, it can also reduce air pollution. The construction kits I procure allow you to build a construct once, which you have not yet licensed. Select my ship to see what I have in the cargo hold. Okay, so how do I get him the titanium that he wants? We do not have enough titanium stored. How do I know how much is stored? Is this still something I need to go after? Okay, he's now mining that. Rocks. Oh, okay. So it is getting me 82. Supply the boss with 0 out of 100 titanium blown up from blown up mountains. We stored the necessary units of nitro skirlite in the warehouse. The workshop can be used to craft items. Build one. Okay, we now have a workshop. Not entirely sure how I'm going to get him what he wants. Gold mining. We have not mined enough gold yet. He's still mining here. Okay, so I think here needs another warehouse. Population is doing good. Money is doing okay. Uh, we're not doing so good for food though, are we? Okay, let's get another field in here. 45, 45. 
one. 38, 30, 47. No, not possible on the coast. What the hell's going on over here? Who's attacking me? Ah, the workshop is online. Now we can craft explosives, but we need another resource, as you will see in the work. We still need machinery from a factory for our explosives. Build that facility now if you haven't already. Okay, we need 40 machinery. Okay, I thought I actually had one of those. Um... What does I need? Machinery. Okay, we're getting resources from there. We should have the second warehouse mining. Okay, these people are fairly happy at the minute. That'll do us. Okay. I think this place just needs loads of warehouses. Thank you for procuring the artifacts. It will further the study of the Gaian species. I'll contact you as soon as there's any new information. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave it there. That was a lot longer than I expected. Um, I was hoping to have this first tutorial mission out of the way, but we haven't. Uh, so we still only got the one planet. Uh, we're doing quite well, 675,000 people. People's quality of life is good. Uh, energy is now starting to run a bit low again. We have to look at energy in this area again. Uh, let me know, is this something you'd like me to carry on with? Um, I'm actually quite enjoying it. I love the art style and stuff. I think it looks amazing. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you haven't done so already, do subscribe down below to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, upload nearly every single day. I don't know for myself, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.